press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. First, here's a horse. It's running, it's changing into a zebra. See, now this is old, and you can see it's not quite perfect. Do you know how hard that is to change a horse into a zebra? Now you're watching that. Think about this as this technology gets better. You have a video of somebody walking into a brothel. They want them to make it look like you. Not gonna be hard. Another algorithm. This algorithm is really frightening. This algorithm is changing the scenery on a road. Now this road never, well I won't tell you. Which one's real? Which one's real? Now this one of these is real, the other one is fake. And it's taken in real time. This is done in real time. So one of these is just what the camera is seeing, and the other is what the, the, the computer is changing it into. Which one? We had a discussion in the studio. Our, our cameramen couldn't tell. They all said, the fake one, the trees. The one in spring. Nope, actually, this is a road that never gets snow. That is the fake one in real time. Now imagine that, placing your vehicle at a scene of a crime. They could change absolutely anything. What's real and what's not real is about to become very blurry because nothing is as it seems. Okay, now we can trick your eyes so you can't really depend on the things that, no, I saw it, he was in his studio but also now your ears. Watch this. Hi everybody. This night I am happy to share with you a small announcement about a cool startup called Library. They launched today their website where you can create a digital copy of your voice. They only need you to record one minute of audio. This is just the beginning and they are working hard to improve their results. They want to use this technology to change the life of everyone that lost their voice to a disease by helping them recover this part of their identity. Let's help them achieve this goal. You can help them testing their software and sharing this video with your friends. Now, Obama obviously was not speaking there. The company named Liarbird recently released a website that lets now you create a digital copy of you. What they've done is they've just taken the voice pattern and digitized it. And obviously, it's very rough. You can say whatever you want if you have control of somebody else's voice. Today, I tried it myself, it's still in beta. The, a the AI powering it is growing smarter and smarter. Like the president or not the president said, this is for people, for a good cause. People have lost their voice for disease, but imagine how far you could go in just a couple of years if you can re replicate someone saying anything that you want Imagine what your enemies could do. Hello, my name is Glenn Beck. I just wanted to say that Woodrow Wilson is the best president in the history of the United States. Also, George Soros is a really cool guy. And this is totally for sure Glenn Beck. That was Hello, me. Hello, my name is Glenn Beck. That was me reading I just wanted in to, say that Woodrow to the Wilson. computer, to the AI, for about four minutes today. Imagine what it'll be like after you spend an hour, or they can take an hour worth of your voice. There's something else. Uh, the new iPhone 10. The new iPhone 10. If if you just put one of these little, I can be a little kitty cat. Hello, I'm a little kitty cat. Uh, and oh, this is so fun. Uh, gee, I know how to make America great again. We could. Mm, I'm thinking. Go bacon free. That's real time. I think it's what is it? Three hundred thousand points on my head or 30 30,000 points mapping my face to make the little pig thing work imagine what Vladimir Putin could do if he had a picture of Trump or anybody else that anyone wanted to be destroyed you're not going to be able to know what's true anymore because very soon you won't be able to trust your eyes or your ears 
What up, y'all? This is Devin with Up TV, aka the Dot Connector, and I've already given y'all the warning about this technology. And unfortunately, we live in a time where the elite can use this technology to frame you and make you out to be a terrorist. They can say you bombed a building. They can put you in any location in the world. They can change the scenery of the location. They can use your face. They can use your voice. They can change your body movements. They can they can do everything now and make it seem super real and make people actually turn against you or believe that you are actually a terrorist when you're really not. And the thing that kind of grinded my gears about this whole Jordan Peele imitating Obama thing, um, I felt like it was attack. It was an attack against alternative media. Um, you know, if you go back and listen to what Jordan Peele was saying, he was saying, uh, you know, we have to put our faith in trusted news sources, um, basically saying that other alternative media outside of the mainstream media isn't reliable news sources. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. It's a time when we need to rely on trusted news sources. It may sound basic, but how we move forward age of information is going to be the difference between whether we survive or whether we become some kind of fucked up dystopia. Thank you. Stay woke, bitches. And the truth be told, um, we will never have access to the technology that they have to where they can make it look and seem as good and real and frame somebody. Maybe, I mean, you know, there might be some super hackers out there who actually figure out how to do some stuff like that but we know if they don't put it on mainstream media it's not going to matter if it's floating around on youtube or facebook or somewhere you know people are going to be like whatever but the truth be told if it's floating around on cnn fox news msnbc uh people are actually going to believe that and so it's more dangerous in my opinion for the elite to have that type of technology than for the people to have that type of technology. I mean, I, I, the people, uh, we kind of already have access to that technology with the emojis, uh, voice apps and whatnot, uh, but people actually use it for, for fun. Uh, they use it for things like Instagram, but here's a warning to y'all. Every time you guys use the app like that, um, they're getting more data on your face, you know? These are face recognition technologies. Um, I actually believe they're collecting data on your voice. Um, everything you say, everything you do nowadays um, is being recorded. So we have to be mindful of that and understand that we don't have to go to uh, this website and participate and submit our voice and give them our recording of our voice. They already have hours and hours of recording of our voices. They already have our face they already have everything to frame us now um so just be mindful of that and understand that we're coming into a time to where you need to be very very vigilant and on your toes because they have technology that can now read your thoughts they have the technology now to be able to clone people they have the technology to be able to frame any person and put you anywhere in the world, make it seem like you did something you didn't do, they they can frame you. They like this is crazy. Y'all have to understand that. But no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Okay, give your life to Jesus, people. Wake up. Now is the time.